what would be in Manny's personal butthole? <laughs> nice. <laughs> um, oh, man. I don't know if this is a little creepy, but it would be the whole cast of the show, of The Good Place. We would be hanging out in my butthole all the time. I remember our first meeting with Mike, he, he asked me whether I was interested in any, if I had any hobbies or any interests. And the biggest thing was, was dance. From the get-go, uh, he was like, okay, yeah, we could, we could incorporate that. Because I believe in the first iteration, he was, he was like more of like a, he was more of like a hustler and his, his shtick or thing was like kind of like selling random things like there was a, a bit of it in one of the episodes wh where you meet my dad donkey doug and, and pillboy they're selling double trouble that was kind of like in the first kind of iterations where that's that was his thing where he would sell different types of inventions or whatever these ridiculous inventions but he saw that i could dance and i was really interested in it and he incorporated that from the beginning and that's the great thing about mike he's like he's so collaborative and you know he definitely wants you to feel comfortable in the character's skin and it really helps i was a member of a 60 person dance crew in jacksonville we were called dance dance resolution we resolved to dance i want people to be able to experience the the final season for themselves. I remember reading the finale and I remember just calling my parents right after I read the the, the finale. It was like, oh, I should probably do this and pick up the and picked up the phone and talked to them for a little bit. I didn't have to talk about the show or anything. I just needed to be like, oh I need to I should catch up with them and see how they're doing. Hmm. Not bad. It went a little overboard on the cheekbones, but still. I feel like the writers have this plan or they're just out to get me in, in terms of trying to like make me blush or just make me red in the face. Like in turn, like just, you know, uh, embarrassed a little bit because they know how I get. I get a little sweaty or whatever whenever I, I'm not really good with taking nice compliments and, and things. So it's, yeah, it's like their little nudge at me, I think. But it's also, it's also, also super nice. It's okay to feel or plead guilty about bad things you used to do, but you don't have to feel shame about who you were because you're not a demon anymore. You're just like a nice, weird, happy old dude. I have been graced with the chance to play a character that gets to hit a lot of the jokes. So a lot of the times I get to make my castmates laugh um, by doing all these random different things. And I definitely make it a goal to kind of break them, especially like Will or Darcy, or even Jamila as well. And Ted and Kristen are always the hardest, but sometimes I get them. You don't really get that a lot of the times. And just to be able to bring joy on set, you know, making people, making my castmates laugh and the crew laugh, it's so special to witness. And I don't know if I'll be able to do that again, but we'll see, fingers crossed.